Hello everyone. So again, I welcome you all to day four of Quant Masters TCS NQT paper analysis. So we're gonna do verbal ability with Vasundra Chaudhary. I'm Vasundra Chaudhary, and like we've you know done in the previous three days, the previous three lectures, let's say. We've discussed a lot of tips and tricks to go through your MCQs. How do you tackle them? How do you apply the logic? How do you apply all the knowledge that you have regarding English? And then attack these questions. Get your hands on the marks. Do not let them go anywhere. Like how do you do it? What is the strategy? What is the skill? I've discussed it elaborately in these lectures and I'm continuing to do that. So we only take a bunch of questions of different types. We tackle the strategy for each of them and keep on practicing them again and again so it's not about how many questions you solve but how you know nicely or how aptly you solve them that's the main goal here it's not like okay every day i need to do 100 questions no you do 10 questions but you get 10 on 10 that's the goal here okay so we're going to begin soon uh, i'm not going to repeat a lot of things which I have already covered in the previous lectures. So maybe if you haven't gone through them, you might miss out on crucial, crucial tips. But uh, I'll do my best so that the current students who keep on following all, all of these lectures, you know, one by one, do not suffer, do not, do not have to listen to extra information again and again. So the number one trick that I tell is to read the directive. That's the biggest thing you can do to score well. Here is the answer. If you read it well, you've got the answer. You need to choose the part which either has the error and if the question does not have any error, the statement does not have any error, you then tick no error. All right. Okay. Another suggestion that we have uh, sort of incorporated is that students were saying don't show answers. Explain why the answer is so, but don't show them. Fine. We've deleted the answers. We're going to discuss it and then I'm going to give you the answers if it helps you that way. Then we're going to do it that way. So number one, the use of some chemical substance. I see a problem right there. So I'm just going to circle it once. For disinfection in primary schools trigger allergic reactions in some children. Now you need to go back to my SVO approach and here the error lies in the subject and the object. Why? Because one is plural but the other is singular. Chem use of some. So it's not one. Then there needs to be plural substances. Uh, trigger. Again, it's not triggers. So it's the verb for plural. So the error then lies in your one or the A. Here is the error. All right. Now, number two, again, choose the error. Uh, see if there's error the process of building and developing some areas of land to restore their natural state is known as rewilding svo is completely fine no errors at all so we go with no error now again the same directive if there's an error we find it in japan the tradition of folding a square shaped paper to make variety of shapes is known as origami so they've eaten your off where's that area four okay we're gonna do them quickly now because again read the directives understand the context begin reading with the errors with the blanks etc and you will realize right away where the issue is and again all of these things have been discussed at length in the previous lectures so i urge you to go and watch them they're very important and within 15 to 30 minutes i cover most of them so not no, it's not going to take a lot of time of your day as well. Now, question four. Error. Today, most of the major cities of India are facing the twin challenges of rising air pollution and growing contamination of water. Excellent. No issues in SVO. So, we go with no error. Now, a simpler kind of question. You should score marks in these ones. Okay. You just need to find out the correct word. How will you find the answer? Because mostly they give you synonyms on um, words that are more or less similar to each other or maybe uh, three are antonyms one is not something of that sort where you need to find out the pattern and you'll realize the pattern through the context all right so choosing an electric wheel over a fuel driven one are you really choosing a wheel or wheel here means a car it means a car okay will be a dash decision in the long run unique decision 
why will it be a unique one i mean just think about it what will an electric wheel over a fuel one do it will help us save the environment so nothing unique right away in the long run it's not unique it might be unique right now because not a lot of people are buying it but you are buying it okay not unique fancy not at all tough why would it be tough in the long run because as you keep on producing them your cost of production will significantly come down when the demand sort of rises over time when everybody is using it at the end of the day then it's going to be a you know household uh, accessory of sorts so your cost of production will come down so it won't be a tough one it will be a judicious one and for this you could have done two things to get the answer here either you could have eliminated using the context like i just did or you should just know the meaning of what judicious means judicious means to use it very 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 you know carefully in a sustainable manner and so it will be a judicious decision in the long run so this is how you know two methods via which you can find the answer first one is if you do not know the meaning of each and every word let's say or one or two words you don't know the meaning of them so you use this one but if you do know the meaning right away go with that eliminate the rest based on why this one is the most apt one which of the following sentences uses formal language now these are very messy questions i do not understand their sense but since we need to you know go with formal language here we might as well the report checked out the implications of capitalism now see according to me this is also in a way formal but here i think they mean what kind of language would you use in an office i think so i have a doubt here you finished your assignment yet is definitely informal you talk like this within your peers she is decided to quit now mind you you know these abbreviations when you do not write she is but you do it like this she's these abbreviations are generally you know used in an informal way of speaking or writing okay the meeting is scheduled to commence at 10 am so the answer is fourth or d and not a because this is the most apt kind of example of let's say whatever language you would use in an office but again this one according to me personally is a doubtful and tricky one because i am confused between 1 and 4 and why 1 cannot also be the answer so depends on how the paper is set how tricky these questions are maybe they'll end up giving marks to all students who either go with 1 or 4 because they're just so close right now next one okay these are the ones where you need to apply the skills most so again i'll write the steps down read with blanks i will not explain them again and again i've already done that in the previous lectures understand the context eliminate finally i hope your minds are already giving the answer double check okay so what do we do first read with the blanks fine acha there are directive here just go through that if uh, if you you know doing these type of questions for the first time the directive here says that out of these three options two need to be put here so that's why in such questions where you need two out of three the elimination tricks works really well okay but we need to read with the blanks to understand the context so that we get to the answer faster philosophy is the quest for wisdom and underlying principles of life this vast knowledge and insights have paved the way for finding many answers philosophy in its true sense is an ongoing search for fulfilling the answers and then subsequent questions fine every generation has passed on to us its knowledge and experience of the essentials of life now we need to go and underline the keywords do you find knowledge here okay so maybe if we put one here maybe we might you know get the continuation here because i always say that anything is always a discussion so it must flow one must flow to two point number two must flow down to three etc etc so either same words or phrases will be used in just the previous sentence or the previous uh, the sentence that is to come next now we're going to put on hold the first statement here because we think these phrases go well with each other now we're going to do the second one have paved the way for finding many answers now what is the phrase that comes with 2 and 3 which has words similar to answers the possessions and assets for a comfortable life are not compatible with philosophy 
not really having the similar words to answers let's say what about three at the same time it has created plenty of questions for contemporary philosophers to find new knowledge so question answer again according to the rule of discussions we have seen that the second and the third do connect via the question and answer linkage so if we put three here does it make sense philosophy is the quest for wisdom and underlying principles of life every generation has passed on to us its knowledge and experience of the essentials of life this vast knowledge and insights have paved the way for finding many answers philosophy uh, okay no the second at the same time it has also created plenty of questions for contemporary philosophers to find new knowledge philosophy in its true sense is an ongoing search for fulfilling the answers and then subsequent questions so great then we it means that the answer is b in the first one you will put one and then in the second blank you will put your third or the c one okay all of these numberings are just messed up i don't know why that's so uh, but pay attention to how you select your answers that's why i said double check them whether you've selected the correct answer or not if this is how it's given in the exam as well now again the use of formal language she has discharged her duties she resumed the services informal the clerk isn't on the desk what did i tell you abbreviations short forms informal she is in the pink of health informal so one is the answer what did we do we eliminated again which of these sentences represents the correct indirect narration of the given sentence excellent question i absolutely love it you need to understand indirect and direct to know this one now i've already taught this earlier to my students um so my students will know about this definitely i've covered all of these points how do you spot you know bang on how do you know the answer to these questions but again to the new ones uh you'll have to be you know be patient you'll have to wait and see if i in the future do cover these individual topics as well because my earlier students have already done this with me so the student said to the teacher are all these questions compulsory now what all will change i'll tell you okay said these will go are all this will change okay this is time related in a way okay this will also be changed to what kind of you're asking so you turning this interrogative sentence in when into indirect so this will also change now the options the student asked the teacher if all those questions are compulsory whichever see the rule for indirect is that everything has to be in past because it's already been said so we need to find the statement which has passed everywhere so this is gone because r is used again r is used second is gone these has not been converted gone the student asked the teacher if all those good questions were compulsory excellent i think this is our answer let's still eliminate the last one the student asks the teacher sorry this is not the past if all again these questions again absolutely wrong so our answer is thus 3 now question 10 one part of the sentence below may contain an error again although he is from one of the premier college he is not placed with an established company one of the well when you have a bunch of colleges which are premier in nature only then you talk about this particular one but this is still a bunch of colleges right so although he is one he is from one of the premier colleges premier college he is not so one is the answer to question 10 great the following pair of sentences can be combined into one better sentence choose the one that combines the two best now i've already given you the trick for this the most logical and the most shortest one is generally your answer both of these criteria should be fulfilled to reach the answer okay okay so let's go through the sentence first sardar patel was a strong and tactful leader he was successful in merging all the princely states into the indian union great love him he used the method of persuasion sometimes he used the method of coercion sorry all right so going to read and eliminate the ones 
which are not logical and not the shortest a strong and tactful leader sardar patel has been successfully using had been successfully using persuasion coercion to merge the this is a bit doubtful but let's wait being a strong and tactful leader sardar patel had been successfully using persuasion and coercion to merge something off here okay because sometimes he used the method of coercion and they're putting in blanket statements here saying that he had been using both okay so two is wrong okay so the same logic here as well see i'm eliminating and solving with you i've read these questions for the first time so same logic here how here they say sometimes he used the method of coercion and here they are coupling the two he used mostly persuasion and sometimes coercion and here they're equating all of these Sardar Patel, a strong and tactful leader, succeeded in merging all the princely states into the Indian Union using methods of persuasion and sometimes coercion. So most probably this is our answer, but we gotta eliminate the fourth one as well to be on the safer side. SP, having been a strong and tactful leader, used persuasion again. The same logic. Where is sometimes? Where the differentiation is? It's not there. So our answer is three. read the passage and fill in the blanks by selecting the most appropriate options fine are we aware of our laws are we aware of how we can be a party to crime for example if someone plans a dash and shares a plan with you outside a bank mind you what could be planned outside a bank will be you know seen by us in blank number 1's options and then we'll realize how we need to eliminate using this context right here outside a bank to avoid walk in to which you give assent you become an dash in the crime first one what could be done our uh, in a bank robbery yes visit no murder no cheating no so first one is a now eliminate all those options which do not have number 1 as option number a so now we are stuck with two options and we just need to eliminate the one of the two right now uh outside a bank to avoid walking to which you give assent you become an accuser no you're with the person accomplice yes assessor what's an assessor here innocent absolutely not so which of these has to be so our answer is 2 this is how you eliminate get to the answer read with the blanks understand the context etc etc it's a it's a full process that you need to do continuously to get to the answer in the shortest possible time and absolutely be sure that you mark the correct one in the exam this is the full proof way to achieve that okay last one i think you're going to read a text some sentences are missing okay from the list of a to c the most appropriate sentence for each gap has to be chosen there's one extra sentence so elimination has to be used positive thoughts are powerful tools if we can change our perception by developing positive ideas we can change our reality blank if we nullify the negativity with unrelenting positivity dash so what are the words here positive reality negativity unrelenting positivity now we need to begin elimination it highly depends on the vibration that we attract by thinking about negative things okay every individual should strive for positivity in life okay we can change the whole chemistry of our mind and body all right so if we put two in first place let's see if we can change our perception by developing positive ideas we can change our reality every individual should strive for positivity in life let's hold on and see if we can find one uh, you know two if we can put it there now let's see this blank if we nullify the negativity with unrelenting positivity it highly depends on the vibration that we attract see the sentence that comes here is already an incomplete sentence so it cannot begin like this in a disjointed manner it has to flow from here let's put three if we nullify the negativity with unrelenting positivity we can change the whole chemistry of our body so we have our answer here two and here three which in short is let's say b and c because it again messed up the numbering and the only option with b and c is two so again elimination context i just cannot you know uh, stress enough how important these skills are and how you only need to do let's say 10 questions daily using these skills 
and you'll actually end up training your mind that you can you know sit in a room full of music noise and the moment you see such questions your mind you know your mind will immediately begin elimination context read with the blanks step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 so only 10 to 15 questions daily are needed that's it to help you ace this to help you learn this skill so that's why you know keep on following these series keep on watching the lectures they're extremely important they keep on explaining the same concepts the same tips and tricks through different type of question okay so these are very very important i'm going to see you again tomorrow most probably it's my birthday so i might not be able to see you tomorrow but i'll try i'll try my level best and uh, you know we'll ace it you're going to get 100 on 100 That's the goal here. Okay? So take care all of you. I love you all. Bye bye.